let's continue with the same save as last time. One thing I did not do last time is I did not ask these girls about their wishes. Is that a different loading girl? Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, is there more than there's more than one loading girl? There we are. Here we are. Low on physical stamina one. Well, we need to do something about that. Who? Where? Oh yeah. Kurihara, you need to take a break. How do I do that? I forgot. I've forgotten everything. Please. I'm suffering. She needs to go on a spa day. Does that go for all of them? Okay, how about we just leave her? Because the auto practice should respect her stamina, so that should be fine. I need to talk to someone. You. Because this is my... I can't do it yet. There's a cooldown. I want to talk to Mizuki because she's my skilled girl and I want to do the things that she wants. Hajime. Hajime. Okay. Talk about her wishes. There are so many possibilities, but the thing I fantasize about most is she wants to get a smart TV job. Okay. We need TV jobs. Photo shoot. 24. Yes. Whoa! <gasps> Mako's birthday! That makes me so nervous when they have birthdays because they just they just be getting older and they're gonna graduate and they, she still is only pretty six. Like, I can't, well, actually, I don't think you can train pretty. Are you gonna graduate? Wait, does that mean she's planning to graduate this year? I don't know what that means. Um, so we need TV. How do I, hey, stop that. How do I, um, she wants a smart TV. I don't know how to do, like, precisely that. Auto proposals. We need some TV. Oh, I gotta research it. We need to- Oh! No, stop having birthdays! <laughs> stop it! Ah! Risa's birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, that's the one that I've, like, exhausted. Well, happy birthday. Please don't graduate. TV. Lewd. No lewd. No, no lewd. TV. She wants a smart TV. Okay, we need to generate research points. Give me some research points. Stop doing that. Get- oh. Oh. <laughs> I could have let that go one more second and that would have been probably the thing to do. Oops. Oh well. Um... Who? Tell me what your wishes are. Hajime. And what are you doing? Preferred style cute. Auto styling. What does that do? It never really told me what- what- Oh! We're not gonna be on here. Also, I don't remember what our song is called. The one song that we have. Well, okay. That's great. Good for those songs. Alright, what are your wishes? If I had my choice of anything, it would probably be... She wants to center an Enka single about regret with a cute choreo. That is a lot of specifics. Center. I mean, she's gonna be the center either way, because she's the really good one. I don't know what Enka is, but I'm okay with that. And then, about regret with a cute choreo. So I've got cute choreo. I need to research regret. Okay. I need to research regret. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Plot happened. Sometime this year, Fuji. Yo. There he is. Hey there. Glad to see you're running a tight ship. I see you've done pretty well for yourself so far. I trust you've been making the most of your post-launch promotional recognition. I really don't think I have. I kind of don't know what I'm doing. Now that you've been around for a while, you'll probably see the extra traffic you were getting from locals start to drop off. You're no longer a neighborhood novelty. I guess you could say the honeymoon phase is over. I don't even have, like, I didn't have a honeymoon phase. I didn't capitalize on it right. But hey, you're not just a local business. There's an entire country, heck, an entire world of fans out there for you to impress. Who knows what could come from these humble beginnings. The group that you managed to build Telltale Hearts into, that's not something I gave you. You built that. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with it. Okay, thanks, dude. I need to research regret. I researched regret. I know everything about regret now. I need to research... What was the other thing? I don't know. Oh, no. This. Okay, with a cute choreo. Okay, so we've already got a cute choreo, okay? We need this about regret with a cute choreo. The teens are gonna hate it. The young adults are gonna hate it. The adults, it's their cup of tea. He thinks he's going insane. Wicked survival, that one I like. That one I like. Uh, 100? We don't have a ton of fans, so I think that's okay. And then you have to center. Ikemas. Ikemas. 
And what does this mean? Okay, you're too tired. Yes, you're way too tired. So let's get Yuri. Look, their outfits match and everything. It gave it a little heart. That was cute. Team chemistry. Oh, they like each other. Okay, 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 okay. I'm learning. And then you have okay stamina. Okay, queen. You're scraping in my ear. Stamina is our big issue right now because they've been training really hard. Okay, so lyrics. Give me it. I'm going to write the lyrics. Am I writing them? Yes, I am. Who's oh, my finances are in the red. Uh, try taking a loan by clicking on your office. Okay. Apparently, it's extremely easy to go bankrupt in this game, which is something I have not been paying attention to. But that's why we're doing such a small number of CDs, because I don't... Fujimoto... Or the bank. So, I don't want interest. I don't know what the, like, stipulation is gonna be, but I'm scared and I'm just gonna do it. Let's just get us out of the red. We're not gonna be reckless, you know? We're not reckless. We're just getting out of the red. Okay, nothing bad happened. Look at that. Achievement unlocked, getting credit. I got an achievement, so it worked out for the better, obviously. Oh, <sighs> that noise scares me. Um, I guess we should record it before we- Yeah, that's it. All right, why don't we generate some research points instead of training? Cause right now, oh, well, let's let her finish. Cool, you, you, stop it. Stop dancing. All right, and then once he's done with the lyrics, All right, turn off auto practice, generate me some research points. Choreography, yeah, I please. See. I like how this doesn't have like a symbol above it. This is just a random girl. That's not one of ours. We don't know who that is. She just broke in here. What is pushes? Push idols receive 50% of all business proposals. They also get more fame points. You get influence points over pushed idols for every month of a push, but it can also damage their and your relationships with idols who think the push is unfair. I see. What if I just did like one month of push for, what is her name? Mizuki. Just like a short push. Just cause we need more fans. We only have 162. Uh, I'm very, oh, I'm very in the red. Just a temporary, just a little push. Just a little one. Don't worry, it's just a little push. Uh, 20 days till bankruptcy, that's fine. We're gonna make so much money on this single. Don't you even worry about it. Don't even sweat it, dude. Don't even worry about it. What are your what are your desires? Okay, what are your wishes? There's so many possibilities, but the thing I fantasize about most is she wants to be in a single. I think she's about to be in one, so I'm glad I grabbed that before the before the single was like released, because it probably wouldn't have uh, worked. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's release it. Let's release it. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. How do I do that? I don't remember how. Oh. Producer. Hey, Telltale. Can we talk privately for a moment? It's about the new girl who recently joined, Risa. They're all new. Um, did she do something wrong? It's not exactly that she did something wrong. It's more that, well, I don't think that she's been doing this for very long. She's really behind the other girls in terms of her dancing ability. Can't that be solved with practice? Hmm. To an extent. But during our last session, Risa had to struggle just to perform some of the basic stretches. Normally we just spend a few minutes going through the basic stretches, stretches, but with Risa, I had to spend an entire hour with her just doing stretches. And what's more, she complained about being sore the next day. And I believe her. I really believe those stretches were pushing her to the edge of what she was capable of. Look, I know it's my job to get these girls ready to dance, but at my core, I'm a dance coach, not an athletic trainer. Part of being a dance coach involves training a lot of young, inexperienced dancers who might not have had the chance to develop all the muscle groups they'll need for dancing. And ordinarily, it's not that big of a problem. But usually when I'm trying to train someone completely from scratch, they have the advantage of youth and their muscles can grow and adapt quickly just through basic practice. When you start to get older, that becomes a lot tougher. For someone who's been doing this since they were young, it's not an issue. But when I work with Risa, it takes a lot more effort. And I don't think that's that it's for a lack of trying on her part. I think it mostly comes down to her age. Yeah, isn't she only 20? Like, she just had a birthday. Right. But training a 20-year-old who's learning to do basic stretches for the first time is a lot different from training a 13-year-old. Some people are able to stay flexible with age, but Risa doesn't seem to have that gift. And the fact that she didn't spend a lot of time learning how to dance when she was younger is making it harder for her to catch up now. 
I'm not saying that Reese is beyond help, but I do think that it would be beneficial if I was able to work on some basic exercises with her before we get to actual dance practice. The thing is, some of the exercises that I'd like to use for general training are going to require some equipment that we don't have. I can get you some equipment. I'm already in debt. I don't care. I'd like to buy some gymnastics training equipment. I think I could get everything that I need for, let's say, under 100,000 yen. I don't have any money. <laughs> I don't have any money. I know that might seem like a lot, but I think that it would be really useful to have this equipment lying around, or this equipment around. Producer. After all, I don't think Risa is going to be the only member who could benefit from this. I'm assuming that it'll just put me in further debt, right? Because I can do that. Arigato. Great, thanks. I think this will really help us out. Oh, and one more thing. Could you not tell Risa we had this conversation? Lips are sealed. I know that she's already aware that she's lagging behind some of the other members, and I don't want her to feel too singled out. Obviously, she'll be aware that she's getting some special training that some of the other girls aren't getting, but I don't want her thinking that we had to buy a bunch of specialized equipment for her. Even if she is the first one to make use of it, I doubt she'll be the last. Exactly. I don't have any money. Did I release that single or not? How do I release it? Right here? Yes. No? I don't know if I- I don't think that released it. How do I release it? Take it. I can't remember. Oh wait, it's right here. Oh, I don't have enough money. That's gonna be a problem every time. This satisfaction is way too high. <laughs> Y'all need to be less satisfied. Whoa, Mizuki's salary is high. I mean, I know she's good, but damn. And she's not even that satisfied. And this is just my idols. This isn't even my whole staff. Does my other staff not get salaries? Y'all need to be less satisfied. <laughs> Why is it not updating? Because I have it set so that my business manager does this. So if they get too upset, she should come in and up their salaries. So I'm just going to put them all at the lowest. Not, not Mizuki's though, because hers is already starting to dip. Her satisfaction is. Well, I said not Mizuki's and then I started changing to Mizuki's. Just get it to 100. 100. All right. No more money. Nobody gets any money. Can I do it yet? Okay. This is an issue. This is an issue. We all know this is an issue. Did I already pay? No. Okay, let's go to the bank this time. I need I need ninety thousand dollars, or did it say nine thousand? I don't remember. It's fine. It's fine. Am I gonna be able to release it now? Twenty two. It went straight back. <laughs> it took it like one second. I had money, and the next I didn't have any money. <laughs> Bankruptcy. Task completed. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay, yes, I'm gonna be bankrupt. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. So, my next question is what do I do now? Because I don't have any money. What's costing me so much money? Staff salaries is costing me a lot. Okay. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna go bankrupt. You don't have to keep telling me. How do I change their salaries? Because this is not, this is not good. Salary, 20,000 a week. Let me change that. My rent, mmm. And my loans. Things are bad. Click on my office to take a loan. どうしましょう? So, Fuji, I must ask you a favor. Is that okay? That's gonna get us out of the red. I can't take another loan from Fujimoto until I finish his task. Oh, okay, those aren't as scary of tasks as I thought they would be. Okay, here's what we need to do. Everybody stop moving. When, where's my loan? Why didn't I get it? My loan is in development. Oh, I see. Can I have it now? Why didn't it give it to me? Can I have it now? I want it. どうしましょう? So what happens when I go bankrupt? Do I lose or like, I guess we're just gonna wait and see what happens if I go bankrupt because I'm going bankrupt. I don't know if anybody wants to, um, I don't know what to do. Cause I, it said that my loans were being processed. Oh, my producer is currently doing loan. Is that you? 
Oh, I see. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. Okay. Oh, I'm bankrupt. Yeah. Hey, I figured we should talk. I mean, it's definitely about our financial situation. Oh. Yeah, I figured someone like you would be smart enough to figure it out. Mm. Telltale Hearts has money problems, and money problems are the sort of thing that only get worse the longer you ignore them. This music is like nice. Like I don't, I don't like that it's stressing me out though. That being said, not all cash flow problems are permanent. That's true. Please help me. Debt can be a trap, but it can also be a financial tool that smart business people simply use to gain more leverage. The problem with getting more leverage is that the returns on all of your bets get magnified, and that applies to both the bad bets as well as the good ones. Borrow money to make a bet with a good return, and you wind up richer than if you hadn't borrowed any money. Borrow money to make a bet that doesn't pay off, and you're even deeper in the hole than you might have thought possible. I know how, I know how that works. I know that much. So with Telltale Heart's balance so far in the red, I figured it was time that you have an honest conversation about how you plan to dig Telltale Hearts out of the situation. Not an honest conversation with me, but an honest conversation with yourself. I've had to have that conversation with myself more than once, and I know how difficult it can be. Looking back, bash. Looking back, I wish that at the time, I'd had someone with a more experienced hand guiding me, so that's why I'm here. I feel weird about this. So be honest, do you have a plan to dig yourself out of this hole? I'm gonna say I don't know because I don't know and I feel like it is savable because I got into debt in many a video game before but I don't he's not gonna like this he's one of the I, I'm doing it I appreciate that honesty I don't know is the most honest answer to so many of life's hardest questions and yet so few people few people seem to be willing to say it okay I'm scared of you the outcome of any situation is rarely certain, and the less experience you have, the more difficult it is to gauge how likely any given situation. Mm. What I'm about to say might sound indelicate, but it's about something that I wonder if you've considered at this point. Ooh, you're probably aware that there are some men who are interested in dating idols. And there are some idol groups that openly offer fans the opportunity to go on supervised dates with a member of the group. They're even public about that opportunity and use it as promotion. But there are some potential clients who are interested in spending more alone time with an idol, unsupervised. Mm. There are certain compensated activities that they'd like to engage in. I ask the following as a strictly hypothetical question. If someone came, in, came to you offering money for you to set them up on a date, where they could have an unsupervised encounter with one of the idols in Telltale Hearts, what would your reaction be? So, I would say no, right? But uh, Fujimoto historically doesn't think poorly of that. This is, I'm gonna say no. Miss Sarah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm glad to hear that you're glad to hear me say that. I'm glad to hear you say that. I feel almost untoward for even asking the question of you, but I had to be certain that you weren't the kind of person who would engage in those sorts of activities. I like, why am I so stressed? There are a lot of people who, in your position, might do something truly nefarious to exploit the trust that their idols have placed in them. Yeah, like we're friends. I don't wanna, I don't, I. I realize that the world of business is cutthroat, but there are limits to how far you can go without losing a part of your soul. I know that times are tough for Telltale Hearts, and it might be tempting to sell your scruples for some cash to try and get yourself out of the red. I faced that same decision many times throughout my life. Mm. One of the things I've learned is that the world is going to offer you lots of opportunities to sell your scruples for money. Scruples? 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 The problem is that if you ever decide that you'd rather have your principles instead of money, making the transaction in the reverse direction isn't quite so easy. It's easy to run up a financial debt, but it's easier to run up a moral debt. Fuji, I'm learning things about you. I, the other guy made it sound like you didn't have any morals. 
by the look at you. You're a regretful man. Digging yourself out of a financial hole might seem difficult, but it's nothing compared to the difficulty of digging yourself out of a moral quagmire. When I was closer to your age, there were more than a few times that I sold my principles to gain short-term profits. It's only recently that I've started to discover just how expensive it is to buy those principles back now that I've lost them. So, as a way of helping to pay off a little bit of that moral debt, I'd like to offer you a financial gift! Yes! Please let it be enough to get me out of debt. Please, I'm suffering. I'm going to give you some money to get back up on your feet and get you out of debt. Part of me wonders if I'm robbing you of a valuable learning opportunity by doing this. No, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. After all, making mistakes is how we learn and improve ourselves. But there are some mistakes that are too costly to risk making even once. And I hope that by helping you out like this reduces some of the temptation to go down a more sordid path. He really is cleaning up his act, huh? That being said, I want you to be aware that getting this kind of windfall is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of event. I am going to make the most of it, I swear, unless it's not enough to get me out of debt and then I won't be able to do anything with it. I'm a firm believer in second chances, but eventually you hit the limits of human generosity. The next time you dip into the red, I won't be here to bail you out. Okay. Thank you. I'm not going to repay you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yay, I got an achievement! Okay, stop it! <laughs> Second chance achievement! Yay! I'm so happy about that. Ugh. I'm turning around on Fujimoto, too. Nope, died. Uh, I'm turning around on Fujimoto. Release it. Wicked survival. I got... Okay, that was a good guess on how many CDs to produce. Because we, we sold 56 of them. And then that's gonna... Yay! Trendiness bonus! Trendiness bonus! I got casual fans! I'm so happy! And I successfully did two wishes! Oh my god, this day is turning around. This day is turning around, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy! Thank you! I'm proud of that sale. Oh, more story. Okay. Ano? Alright, Miss Ayaka is here. Excuse me, ma'am. I just received a phone call from Fujimoto-san's office. From the sound of things, you're going to make a television appearance in one week? Oh, I forgot about my- I have been ignoring this quest. I forgot about my television experience. I also received an email directly from the studio with the details of the location of the shoot. Apparently, it's some kind of quiz show where you'll be competing against the producers of other idol groups. I remember. I'm actually somewhat familiar with the local station that's recording the show. Er, not super familiar, but I may have watched it a few times after work, and I took the liberty of watching a few clips that have been circulating online. Oh boy, am I about to embarrass myself? Since it's a quiz show, I figured you might want a quick primer on what to expect. If you'd like, I could give you some pointers based on my somewhat limited exposure. Yes, I will absolutely take a few pointers. One of the things I've noticed about the show is that they really like to do variants of the, uh, newlywed game. Ooh. Newlywed game? <laughs> she giggled. Yes, the Newlywed game is apparently an old television game show where recently married couples would answer questions that were supposed to test how well they knew each other. Oh my god, am I going on it with one of my idols? For example, the host might ask the couple, what is the first song that the two of you danced to? Then the host would see if the husband and the wife gave different answers. Or the host might ask the husband to name five of his wife's friends, or ask the wife how many cousins her husband had. The results, I am told, could often be hilarious when people reveal just how little they knew about their newlywed spouse. If I had to guess, the host will probably be asking you questions to see how well you know the idols in the group. For example, they might ask you if you know about the idols' hobbies or other facts about them. I should have been writing those down. If you'd like to prepare for the kind of questions you might get asked, it could be worthwhile to spend some time with the idols. You know how to do that. You can locate the idol via the menu, yep, 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 tasty beverage. At any rate, it's up to you how much prep you want to do. After all, the point of these kinds of quiz shows is to be entertaining for the viewers. Though if I'm being honest, part of me really wants to see you win. Thank you! After all, this is supposed to be a quiz show for producers of small idol groups. That means that any one of you, wait, that means that any one you face off against would naturally be a rival, right? Ooh, I'm gonna like officially meet right by rival. I'd hate to see you lose to a rival. But it's all in good fun. I'm sure that no matter what the results of the quiz show, everyone will have a good time. Win or lose, what's most important is entertaining the viewers at home. Yay. Socialize with an idol. I have sub stories. Wait, I, th I already did that one. Oh. 
I had to turn it in. Achievement unlocked. Can you do me a favor? And I got level 2 influence. And I did your favor too. Yay. 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 And I did that apparently. And I need to socialize with an idol, but I also have another story to ask. Ooh, this is a new room. All right, that was good. Is it really worth the time I'm spending to do all of these exercises? Yes, it is, Risa. <laughs> Sure it is. You feel sore every time after you do them, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm feeling soreness in muscles that I didn't even know I had. Nice! That's a good thing. That means those muscles that you haven't exercised in years are finally getting used. Your body is literally relearning how to use muscles that it spent years forgetting how to use. Once you get comfortable working those muscles, it'll feel like second nature mm. to you. I don't know. Have you, heard Have you ever heard the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? When I look at some of the younger dancers in Telltale Hearts and other groups, I think you are the youngest one. It makes me feel like I'm never going to be able to move like that. I'm already older than a lot of them, and I'm not going to grow more flexible with age. Hey, don't say that. But isn't it true? Have you ever known someone to grow more flexible with age? Flexibility isn't everything, Risa. Flexibility is purely passive. It's about what shapes your body in it's about what shapes your body is able to bend into. But dancing isn't a passive activity. I'm not so concerned about your flexibility. What we're going to work on is your mobility. Flexibility is passive, but mobility is active, and that's the thing that we're working on training. Having a flexible body that can bend into all sorts of impossible positions means nothing if you don't have the mobility to make use of that range of motion. <laughs> and most dancers never come even close to maximizing the full range of their flexibility. When you work those muscles, you're learning to move your body in new ways. That's not going to decline with age. In fact, if anything, it's going to increase as you put in more time and get more experience. Mm. But there are so many other girls who already have more experience than I do. Then just work hard! So do you. All the more reason for you to start putting in the training hours now. You might, be able, you might be behind where they are right now, but you can catch up if you're willing to put in the effort. Yeah! You just have to be willing! And I have influence over you, so I can make you willing. When it comes to the parts of dancing that really matter, your age isn't going to be the thing that holds you back. So are you willing to put in the effort? Not just now, but over the next month and the next year? Yeah, I am. Yay! Nice! Good. You've shown a lot of improvement just over the past week, Risa. <laughs> if you can keep it up, you've got nothing to worry about. To worry. Yeah! She noticed me. Ah. Were you listening to all that? Sorry, it's a little embarrassing. You've got nothing to be embarrassed about. Maybe so, but I've still got a long way to go. You've made the first step. That's the hardest part. Let's get it. Anyway, I think we're done for today, Risa. Rest up. You've definitely earned it. Risa leaves with a smile on her face. Producer. Risa might not have experience, but she makes up for it in persistence. In fact, at this point, I'd say the biggest thing holding her back isn't her physical ability, but her lack of confidence. And I think we can work on that. Yeah! I'd like to say the equipment and training program that I came up with are responsible for her improvement. But really, the biggest factor in Reese's improvement has been the amount of effort she's put in. That being said, getting to experiment with the new equipment we bought has given has given me new ideas for other training routines we could try out, even with the girls who don't need special attention. Actually, watching Risa make progress over the past week has also made me think about how I coach in general. I should have had more faith in her. It makes me wonder if I'm underestimating what some of the girls might be capable of. Her dance level increased! Yay! Her coaching level increased! I didn't even know you had that! Wait, yes I did. It told me about that. Okay, yes. I didn't know it could increase though. So, that was good! I'm glad I went into horrible, horrible debt to uh, make that happen. Socialize with an idol. If you say so, what am I doing right now? I'm researching a loan. I don't actually need the loan anymore. Um... Here, you're my best friend. So this Doesn't use any mental stamina until 12th of May. Oh, so I could like go overboard working her and there wouldn't be any problems. Well, I've already dragged her to socialize. What should we be doing? We need to release something, don't we? No, we need a smart TV job. We need to research TV jobs. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this is a drama. 
but it's the only thing that says TV on it. So I'm assuming that that's the right thing. I guess that's the right thing. I don't know for sure if it's the right thing. I'm just going to assume that it is. What is this game? This is Idol Manager. I'm running a Japanese pop idol company and I'm doing, technically I'm doing really badly, but my mafia boss friend came in and gave me like six million dollars. It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it, it's, it's fine. But yes, these are my ladies, and we're the world's best terrible J-pop group. And we're called the Telltale Hearts, because of course we are. And I accidentally made my name backwards, because of course I did. Are we still planning a date? Oh, my my game's paused. <laughs> I'm smart. I need you to find me a, a TV job, okay? Give me a smart TV job. Oh, my date's ready. Hey, girl. What's up? How have you been? Hey, what's up? Mizuki waxes fanatical about her favorite food and mentions one of her childhood heroes. Who is it? Oh, 